Dutch oven stuffed trout. Man, you talk about something good. First thing you gotta do is mix up our crab meat stuffing. We've got some chopped parsley. And what we do is just put it all in a bowl and mix it up real good. We've got some chopped green onions, some scallions. We've got Old Bay, about a tablespoon of Old Bay seasoning. Some breadcrumbs. One egg beat up real good. Some pimento. Two cups of crab meat. Now you can use fresh, canned, just whatever you got available, but you know how fresh is, it's always the best. And some mayo. Put that in real good, and then just do a little mixing. You want to blend it all in real well together like this. Get it all mixed up. Might be a little bit dry, but hey, when that fish starts cooking, all that good juice comes out of that fish. Woo -woo. Finest kind. Now, we got us some, ah, oh, lemon. Cut it in half. Want to put it in last. We want about a tablespoon, so I figured about one whole lemon. That's good right there. Mix all that up real good. I have got some beautiful Dolly Varden and Grayland fillets. Here's what we'll do. Lay them out like that. Beautiful fresh fillet. Perfect for a shore lunch. You don't want to freeze them. They don't freeze well, but you can, but best thing for a shore lunch are these trout fillets right here. Black pepper. A little bit of my key lime spice, buddy. This stuff right here is perfect on fish or chicken. Just like that. Flip them over like that. Same thing on this side. A little bit more. Okay. Now, flip them back over. We'll use the meaty side to put our crab meat stuffing on. That's about a fourth right there. So we'll go like that. Come right in here like this. Roll that over. Just like that. Man, that looks good enough to eat right there. And I've got some bell pepper. I just de-seeded them, took the little ribs out. Like that right there. Set that in there like that. Man, this is gonna be good. All right, now we got these ready. We'll take them down to our Dutch oven. Ow. Gotta get this baby ready. What I'll do is put about eight coals on the bottom, like that. Got a little bit of chicken broth. We'll pour that in. You can use seafood stock, beef, or just water if that's all you got. The main thing is so it don't stick on the bottom. You want about a half inch off the bottom. Set these right in the Dutch oven. Slice these onions up. We'll just lay those like that. A little bit of Old Bay or whatever kind of season you got. We're ready. All we have to do now is stick the lid on. 350, which is about eight coals on the bottom, 12 on the top, somewhere right around there. And about 30 minutes. And you can do this in a conventional oven the same way. It works great. Every 15 minutes, we'll turn it a half a turn. Just like that. Let her cook for about 25, 30 minutes, then we'll top it off with something fine. All right, it's been about 25 minutes. So I got some Parmesan cheese. You want to mix one part of each. Parmesan cheese and sour cream. It's about the same amount. Some good old mayo. Mix all that up real good where the cheese gets blended in. Buddy, this little topping right here is perfect on all kind of stuff. Put a dollop of that right on there like that. One on each one. Beauty must. Put the lid back on. 10 minutes, we'll be eating some fine groceries. Oh yeah, man, oh man. Trying to brown a little bit, but what you can do, like in a conventional oven, you can put it right underneath the broiler and it'll brown up a little bit, but you gotta watch it real close. That is going to be delicious. All right, man, that looks great. Hey, Dutch oven stuffed trout, try this on your next shore lunch. Mmm, mmm.